Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna try try it over again. Ah, got the light in a little bit, but right right now I'm on uh, this computer over here to my right. I'll switch over to my Aurora. Okay, I'm gonna fly. Yeah, and I'm back in the cockpit. Do my single key. Uh, uh, this is my operation for cranking it up. Cranks up the engine, sets my flap, sets my engine management where I want it. Gets it ready to take off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lock my tail wheel in. button for pulling my gear back up and my flaps back in so I'll hit it. Let's see those get back in. No enemy around. Get back in the cockpit. I'm going to go look for some enemy action. Cruise back around on base and I'll show you what it looks like on this screen. Give you some idea. The feel that you get with three screens, I really, really feel like you feel like you're in an airplane a lot more for some reason. I guess it's because you really you really see more of your surroundings. Like I say, I do most of my flying on probably 50% of it at least outside the cockpit. This when I was flying ready to control the airplane, it just seems that you can control the plane better if, if the nose is slightly in a down view. You don't have a tendency to, to pull it up and stall it out quite as much. That nose is already in a downward position. I'll pull out the cockpit. 
see what I see when I fly with these three monitors. I do, I do have, I am kind of out of position. You can have my joystick more in front of me and everything. Just for this presentation, I kind of rearrange things a little bit. Make a pass over that base. All the enemy uh, AI planes probably may be gone if I'm not picking up any. Let's see if I knock out this triple A over here. external enemy base. We've got those over here. This is external enemy base. That was friendly. Of course, there's no friendly around. That's enemy aircraft external. Friendly aircraft external. None of those are around. I've got my, uh, I do have a tracker. I just don't use it much. If I did pour it in cockpit, I would probably use a tracker. My tracker is right up here is the uh, camera for it, or the sensor. The tracker's hanging over there on the bullet board. I found out with three screens, you don't, the tracker is not, doesn't seem to be quite as uh, a, a valuable tool. And that triple A. Triple A is there. Is it overheating? Move my radiator, go back on my clothes, if I get up and cool down. About 100%. Power. Power is Had all the triple A in that base. I think I landed that base. It's not having more triple A. Probably back. Combat laps. Going 180. Pull them all out. Pull it from the out. Get my land in here. Well, like I say, I do a lot of my flying from the outside. I'm trying to slip a little bit here. That hard rudder. I don't know if y'all know how to slip. This is slipping. This way you lose a lot of altitude without gaining any speed or distance. And it's good for landing. Uh, as you can see, my speed's not really picking up much. This is common practice in general aviation. It's a slip up. Slip a plank to slow it down. Take off. 
It's like it looks kind of weird if you really back out. See how it's not really designed to feel a view to go out quite this far. I had to modify it to get it work with the screen. The things look kind of, kind of weird when you do that. Folks, back on the ground, safe and sound.
And that's my demonstration. My three miles.